Well, this is a Seiko Captain Willard on a uh, dive core strap. Before I talk about dive core and what they're doing, this American company, I just have to make a, uh, a quick announcement. Uh, for the last couple years, I've been writing uh, posts on Instagram about the watch madness. And uh, it's been a, a, an interesting uh, exercise because it, it's been uh, more, I feel like it's been a collaboration between uh, me and the, uh, the other people who are obsessed with watches on Instagram. They give me a lot of ideas, so I want to thank them. It's a short book, but I'll tell you what, it's worth, oh, what is it? It's $3.99, but as short as the book is, it's like 800 pages in terms of the density of ideas. Oh, it's, oh my God. So what's the book called? I'll put a link in the show notes. Uh, the book is called The Watch Survivor, A Guide Through the Traps, Pitfalls, and Strange Habits of Watch Enthusiasts. Anyways, uh, I'll put a link to the uh, Kindle book. $3.99. Let me know what you think of the price. Should it be $2.99? Should it be $8.99? I don't know. What do you think this is? All right. Now I want to get to the matter at hand. So the, the good people at Dive Core, it's an American company. It's in Texas. Uh, the return address is Humble, Texas. I heard it was somewhere around Houston area. I don't know. They know that I'm a diver guy. They know I'm, I'm big into divers, and they contacted me. They gave me uh, three of their new uh, straps, and uh, I want to explain these straps to you. They come with quick release. Now, to let you know, I don't use quick release, so I took the quick release out of all three straps that they gave me. What I like about these straps is that they made them specifically for people like me who if you don't want to use a small, skinny uh, spring bar and you want to use the Seiko 2.5 fat bar, they have enough room for you to do that. And so I have fat bars here. And one thing I want to tell you about fat bars, I want to let you know, Make sure you buy the OEM spring fat bars. Uh, I didn't know this, but if you buy what are supposed to be uh, legit 2.5 fat spring bars, they're not long enough, and they, they compromise the safety of the wear. So make sure you get OEM. I'm going to throw some of mine away, about a half dozen or so. I'm going to buy another half dozen. But I did have enough from my other OEM Seikos to, to do this. I really like the, uh, the Captain Willard on the uh, dive core. This is FKM rubber. It's very comfortable and I have to tell you something. When I see this strap, this is an alternative to the very expensive isoframe and this has the advantage over the isoframe of having fat spring bars. You cannot get fat spring bars for the isoframe and this is more comfortable and this one's more easy to take on and take off, has less keeper problems. And so to me, when I look at the HP, I look at this as a successful alternative to the isoframe and it's more comfortable than the Borealis. To be honest with you, I put a Borealis on a few days ago, not even knowing that Dive Core was going to contact me, and I didn't wait very long on the Willard. Uh, it though, on the comfort scale, the Borealis is more comfortable than the Isoframe, but this is even more comfortable than the Borealis. So I recommend this as an alternative to the uh, to the Isoframe and the Borealis. And the price point for this is $55. You're getting a top quality FKM. I can recommend it for that. Now I put it on a couple of other uh, of my watches. Got another 20 millimeter here. This is a Seiko uh, MM300 SLA023. I like it. Now this watch will be going back on my OEM waffle. The OEM waffle is not as comfortable as this, but it just brings out the power of this watch and uh, the, the comfort isn't so egregious on the waffle that I have to take it off. I'm fine with it. But I wanted you to see this on the, uh, on the dive core. Dive car is doing a good job here. And let me show you, they gave me a, uh, a 22 millimeter for my tuna. 
and I love it. Uh, this is great, great alternative to the isoprene again. Uh, probably, though, we'll be getting more wrist time on my Darth Vader OEM strap, but this is great. This is absolutely fantastic. This will get some wrist time on this. Now, the good people at DiveCore wanted me to give some advice. Well, who am I? I'm just some dude, but I do know a lot of uh, diver fanatics. Well, I just find that people who like diver watches are very obsessive. This was my advice. Number one, I think, here's my advice to dive core. Number one, congratulations. I believe your HP strap is a successful alternative to the isoprene. And the isoprene costs more than double this. This has fat spring bars. This is high quality FKM. I say congratulations. To me, this is a move in the right direction. Here's the mission I, I would recommend for Dive Core. Buy the strap code Chaffle, which is strap code's version of the waffle, which is considered by many diver guys to be one of the best aftermarket waffle straps you can get. So buy it, study it, look at the, the, the thickness of it, and notice that it does not accommodate fat spring bars. So if you can make a fat spring bar waffle that's equivalent or superior to the chaffle from strap code, the chaffle on strap code, and sell it for between $55 and $65, that's going to be a huge market. The other um, piece of advice is buy an original Tropic, which represents the ultimate luxury look, feel, and comfort of the Tropic. Notice when you get it, I believe it's vulcanized rubber, notice it does not accommodate fat spring bars. If you can make a Tropic uh, for between 55 and 65 that has fat spring bars, it's as good, nearly as good as the original Tropic, you're going you're gonna to make a significant dent in the uh, strap market. The, the inexpensive strap market, you know, straps that cost between $20 and $30, that's saturated. That's, that's done. Who, and I personally would say stay away from quick release. I don't think watch guys want quick release. I think watch guys want fat spring bars. And uh, so here you go. You've got uh, FKM fat street uh fat spring bar street bars uh and uh so yeah that that's exciting so uh great looking watches though man um what are you wearing today man i don't know if i can get it in the camera what are you wearing today can you do it i don't know what are you wearing today i don't know <gasps> oh no i can't do it no 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 i can't do it this okay let's get some Wearing my Amura today, SLA 051. Can't see it very well, the angle. Ah, uh -huh. come on, McMahon. Ever so. Now, the, uh, the 051, I was thinking probably, I need to do a video, explain why if, I ha if someone put a gun to my head and I could only choose one watch in my collection, why this would be the one. The, uh, the 055 is on a bracelet, so that takes the points off. The 023 is a bit heavy. The 043, believe, the 143, forgive me, the 62 Moss is close, but uh, this, I think this would be it. If I, if I wanted to get out of the madness and just wear one watch every day. Anyways, uh, back to the Dive Core. There you go, a long shot. Uh, I want to thank the people at Dive Core. I mean, they sent me uh, these three straps. I get to keep them. They asked me for uh, some uh, feedback and uh, I appreciate their attitude. Like we, you know, we we want to we want to uh, talk to people who are in this game, who are in this insane. I mean, I'm looking at this Willard right now. I'm loving it on on the uh, HP. I, this is staying on the HP. I like the uh, the security of the fast spring bars. I'm I'm loving it right there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you're interested in uh, looking at a mirror reflection of your watch madness, uh, go check out the Watch Survivor on Amazon Kindle. And until next time, I'm out.